Nice AK Cobra here. BMW Grey Metallic. Royal Grey. A Chevy V8. 6.3 litre. Gardner Douglas Mark III, 427. 6 litre LS2 engine. This is an AK Cobra. Got an LS3. Afternoon. How are you doing? Alright. Not bad. How are you? This is a nice spec one. Ghost stripe. Ghosted stripes. Check out these wheels. Got a deep dish on the back as well. Oh, ghost stripes. Got black, red stitching, diamond stitching. It's a really nice spec car. <laughs> we even figured you can get one set of golf clubs in. <laughs> Corvette engine, 5.7. Coaster stripes. This one's got the LED. Tail lights. Gardner Douglas. Cobra. Ford 302. Do you build it yourself? No. Engine factory. Okay. What horsepower is it kicking out? 350 horsepower. A car that weighs this much, yeah. <laughs> It's a big block of, of um, IMF front and it uh, sounds awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's just a day for They got, all got that V8 burble, haven't they? They got a burble, yeah. So yeah. Look at it, uh, an LS. So that's it, uh, you know, doing the wrong. LS yeah. is wrong with those, but um, it's much more authentic look, you know. Yeah. So it sounds. It does go on your nerves after a while in water, though. Sorry? It does get on your nerves after a while. The noise. Yeah, uh, as they all do. Is that an automatic gearbox? No. no. It's a five-speed traffic. Yes, right. yeah, the EFI controller over there. Oh, right. I thought you both had all the dubbins. I like the, the headrests. They're nice. They are, they are GD um, trademark, sort of. <laughs> they, you know, they, um, Stuff you're getting your head on the boulevards. <laughs> That's the well, main it's, thing. It's yeah. There, yeah. So we got a Gardner Douglas. The Ford V8. It's the first time out today as well. 
happens here. March 66. <laughs> it's a good fake. It's a good fake. <laughs> and, Picnic basket. Picnic basket. That's the main. I was quite surprised how big the boots are on these. Yeah, they're massive. You get loads in it, yeah. So it's excellent for a road trip. Back it in there. <laughs> Who's the signature, Bay? Sorry? Who's the signature in the corner? The signature? Yeah. That's a guy called Sir John Whitmore. So, this is a copy of an original. Yeah. Which is why it's 21, etc. And John Whitmore drove the original Hilton Park in 1965. Right. So actually, it's amazing his autograph, which is quite a nice little touch. Colorado. All right. The original still there. Good. Because they originally raced these against the 250s and. What's the engine? Sorry? What engine is it? It's a 302 Ford. It is a 302 Ford. It's, it's a actually a 331 now. And about 400, 425 horsepower. It's a factory 5 racing Daytona 65 Coupe. Yeah, as I say, it depends on how Alison feels after this year. So we just go, not interested. <laughs> Done that, seen it. See the fan. It depends on the weather. If it's wet, you'll never go back. Nice spot. How are you now? I have to move. Gold Cobra. Nice spec. You've got chrome fins. Adam sees Cobra. Friend in 427. 7.34 block. Yellow with red. 
The white clock tails. Or well, cream clock tails. Seen this one before. Top spec car. Nice for sale. Lady V. This probably doesn't come out on video as good as it looks in real life. AK Cobra with a very, very cool blue matte wrap. Very blue, supercharged. Seventeen inch Ali brand wheels, cross black centers, supercharged LS3, six hundred horsepower. Just checking the spec out on this one earlier. The diamond stitched. This one's advertising in trim. See then. They've done a good job with this perforated diamond stitch lever. This one's finished in a stunning metallic blue. Like a candy metallic red stripes. And it looks good when you stand back and look at it. Let's check that out. In trim automotive seat then. And you've even trimmed the boot. I will be honest, you probably get one or two suitcases in there. It's not a bad bit of luggage. Probably better off of a whole roll. It's the seats. We've got a full leather facing interior with a boot spec out as well. We make a slight wood frame and we make the door frames, um, the door cards, and then we fully heat the seats and it's 3.9 before taxes um, and that throws in everything including your gaiters, um, all the carpets and lots of protection mats as well. And that's in trim automotive seat then, yeah? Yep. yep. Does that price include the 
the trim of the boot or yep. that's that yes okay thank you very much thank you xcs designs they've got different wheels on it this year nice in this color blue Carbon gear now, but now nice back, nice touch. Got a matte black frame. The matte black side pipes. This is the Dax Cobra this year. We got the 427 and the Daytona Coupe. And then we've got the classic Cobra on the Hawk stand. The classic look with this one. The 289 register. Classic Cobra. What's the 289 register? Which is the engine size? Uh, yeah. Three cubic inches. 260, 289, or 47. 47. Uh, and we are just more interested in, in the smaller, earlier um, Like the Hawk sort of. And yeah, Hawk, has, Hawk yeah. are the main uh, builders of replicas of the cars that we like. It just so happens that all four of these cars are Hawks. I okay, yeah. um, thought they looked like the Hawk. Yeah. Uh, they, um, so we have. Um, BRAs as well, we have people who've got original cars, um, we've got people with a couple of uh, people with uh, 427s, um, but it's, it's more about the earlier generation of cars like this which are based on the Ace, yeah. um, so, and that was of course the forerunner of the Cobra. Yeah. So, so that's, that's basically what the 289 registers about, we're a, a small group, but uh, as it says, powered by enthusiasts. There's, 230 of us in the club. Need to get the 289. <laughs> yes, that would, be, that would be great. We'll have a big party for that one. But we are actually 25 years old this year, so yeah. uh, we've got a big celebration coming for that, so that's good. But um, yeah, we, it's, it's more about cars that have got a bit more originality to yeah. them than some of the ones you'll see, which are you know, sort of 18 inch wheels and tiny tires and chrome everywhere. So these were the original before the 427? That's huh? right, yeah. 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 So what first happened was the Ace in this shape had a six cylinder engine and then the supply of engines to AC dried up. They were using Bristol engines right. and an American racing driver said, well, a V8 would be great in one of these. And that's how the Cobra was born. So it started off with the smaller 260 um, cubic inch engine. And then after 75 cars, they went up to a 289. It's about 4.7 yeah. litres. And uh, they were really successful in uh, sports car uh, competitions in America. Um, but of course, they just wanted more speed, more power. Right. And come 1965, that's when they redesigned the suspension because uh, they used to have a leaf spring front and rear. So they went to independent coil spring suspension and put the big 7 litre engine, the 427 cubic inch. And that's the ones that you see most of with the big, big arches. Yeah. Yeah. But um, the, these are the purer, truer sports cars, um, as, as they came from the factory in Thames Ditton. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent. Thank Pleasure. you. Did no, they sell it there? Or? No, this is um, actually moulded from the original 1963 Le Mans car uh, by Jerry Hawk. Uh, so you need a split boot to access 
the boot. I haven't got uh, got round to fitting mine yet. I okay, have. Yeah. Um, this is how they originally were. So the, they, uh, the 47 ones hinge up here, so you don't need to modify your boot. Right. Which is, which is definitely handy. So you still use the boot mm. on a on a rainy day. Yeah. yeah. But it's only two bolts, two clips, and unscrew the petrol pipe if I have a puncture and need to get the spare wheel or something. So it's not not a huge job. Not yeah. You know, not enough to worry me enough to make me uh, do the split boot lid yet. Do you get the smell of fuel in the car without that? Not there? much, no? no, not much at all. It's pretty uh, pretty leak proof.